Eight Ways to Boost Your Income Are you searching for ways to boost your income quickly? In this video, I will show you some creative ways to boost your income without making a ton of effort. We will discuss eight ways to increase your earnings and boost your income quickly. Remember to subscribe, and if you get value, please hit that like button. So how can you boost your income? First, you can negotiate a pay raise with your current employer. Negotiating a pay raise is one easy way to boost your income, which many people overlook, and it's right under your nose as an easy way to boost your income. If you're providing more value to your current employer than you're being paid for, let them know and negotiate a pay raise that reflects this. This is a perfect way to boost your income quickly and doesn't require much effort. Maybe just some courage to ask for a pay increase from your boss. Make sure you prepare before you go in to ask for the pay raise, though, and have a list of reasons why you deserve the pay raise. For instance, if you work a lot of unpaid overtime and your current wage doesn't reflect this, or if you're underpaid for the average salary in your industry or location. Check the average salary for your job and assure that yours is in line with this. If it's not, you have the ammo you need to increase your income. Next, start a side hustle. Another great way to boost your income is to start a side hustle. There are numerous ways you can do this, so you can choose something that fits your skills and interests. For example, you could start a blog and sell advertising, become an Uber driver, or even start an Amazon business. The sky's the limit. We all have individual skills and talents that we can offer to clients to make extra cash in addition to our main job. Whether it's freelance writing, graphic design, or web development, there are many ways to make more cash through side hustles. The best part is that you can often do this work from home, so you don't have to sacrifice your valuable free time traveling all over. And once you've built up a client base, you can even start charging premium rates. So if you're looking for a creative way to boost your income, consider starting a side hustle. Next, a less obvious one. Check your current tax code. Another one that could be easy and is often overlooked. You could be registered on the wrong tax code, meaning that you're paying too much tax. A great way to boost your income is to check if you're on the correct tax code. If your circumstances change, you may be entitled to a lower tax rate, which means you'll take home more money. There are several ways you can do this. Speak to your employer or check your payslip to see what code is used. And check government websites for more information on this, depending on your location. If you think you're on the wrong code, you'll need to contact your country's tax office, which will be able to help you. They're pretty easygoing and helpful on this, so don't worry about contacting them. Next, pay off any high-interest debt. If you carry high-interest debt like credit cards and loans, you must get this paid off as soon as possible. Not only will this reduce your monthly expenses, but it will also free up more money that you can use to boost your income. You could get a debt consolidation loan or transfer your balance to a lower-interest credit card to reduce the interest you pay over time. Remember, if you do transfer to an interest-free credit card, divide up the total amount you owe by the number of interest-free months you have available, so you don't pay a penny of interest. If you have any savings, use some of this to pay off any high-interest debt, because overall, it will be making you more money. It doesn't make sense to have $10,000 in a savings account with a high-interest debt of $5,000 still. The savings may make you 2 to 3% APR in interest, while your debt is taking 20 to 30% in interest payments from you meaning a net loss on your overall finances. Keep some savings aside for emergencies, ideally six months expenses, but make sure you pay down the high interest debt as soon as possible. If you want some help on how you can pay off debt, I have a free ebook you can download, which will show you the 11 steps to get out of debt. The link is in the bio. Next, create a budget. If you run a business, you create monthly or quarterly budgets. So why don't we do it with our home life? Knowing where your personal money is coming in and going out is just as important as doing it for a business, if not more important. You may be shocked to learn how much you spend on unnecessary things on a monthly basis. Creating and following a budget will help curb spending and save you money, meaning more money in your pocket, resulting in an income boost. Many apps and spreadsheets are available online to help you with your household budget. Once you know where your cash is going, you can make changes to save more and even invest to boost your income. If you're getting value from this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It costs you nothing and allows me to make more of these videos to help you. Thank you. Next, look at canceling unused subscriptions. Many people are paying for subscriptions they don't use, such as Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, or Netflix. These companies rely on people not being bothered to cancel their subscriptions. It's worth checking how much you're spending on monthly subscriptions and then canceling any that you no longer use. 
It's only a small income boost, but a boost is a boost, right? Next, you can look at earning cash back on your shopping. Many websites and apps allow you to earn cash back on your shopping. Some popular cash back apps include Rakuten, Ibotta, and Swagbucks. All you need to do is get signed up and start using them when you shop online or in store. Many websites and credit cards offer cash back on your everyday spending, so if you're not taking advantage of this, you could miss out on extra income. If you're spending the money anyway, why not get some of it back to these various companies and have more money landing in your bank account every month? Next, improve yourself. The most significant investment you can ever make is in yourself. Improving your knowledge will lead to earning more money and a higher paying job and can help you to hit your financial goals and boost your income. Investing in yourself can be as straightforward as taking a course online, reading books, or attending seminars. Whatever route you choose, make sure it will benefit you in the long term. Online courses are available in many different industries. They can help you to learn high-income skills, some of which are entirely free, and some require an investment, but learning a new skill will undoubtedly help to boost your income. You can complete these courses in your spare time. And once you have completed the courses you want to do, this can aid a new job search or help you generate additional income. I have shown you how you can boost your income consistently. This can help you create more income and put more money into your bank account. The most important thing is to take action and start your journey to financial independence as soon as possible. These tips will help you get on the right track to building wealth and help you to get rich. Watch this video next, and I'll see you in the next one.